Hey what's up guys, in this video I will be talking about few apps which will enhance the overall user experience of your Galaxy S6 Edge. Since we get the Edge screen, I believe we must be making the use of it, as we are missing out on the functionality like on the Note Edge. Basically, all these apps are compatible with any other Android device, but these apps will definitely enhance the Edge screen. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first one here is the Quick Launch. You don't have this app in the Play Store. You can download the APK from the link given in the description. Before installing, go to Settings, Lock Screen and Security and enable Unknown Sources. Now install the APK. Once done, go back to Settings, go to Edge Screen, navigate to Information Stream and tap Manage Feed. Then choose Quick Launch, then Reorder. Once done, remove the check mark from rest of the feeds. Now tap this icon and select the apps that you want on the edge screen. Say for example, Contacts, File Explorer, Instagram, Facebook and so on. Once done, hit OK. Now lock your screen and swipe your finger up and down on the edge screen. And there you have it. So guys, this is quite handy as you can launch your mostly used apps right from the edge screen. The next one here is the 3C Toolbox. 3C Toolbox is an app with a lot of tools and controls for your Android device. Here you get the tools to tweak your device performance and your battery life. But some of the tools require root access. Then we have got few tools to manage apps, CPU uses and so on. Similarly we have CPU stats, battery notifications and many other tools. If I go on explaining each of these this video will take a long time. In this video, I'm just going to show you how this app is applicable to the edge screen. So just launch the app, scroll all the way down and tap all app settings. Then go to notification and select notification packages. Here you'll get a list of icons for your battery stats, CPU uses and so on. So this can be used as the information stream. Download the one you like or need and then install. Once you have installed it, go back, tap notification packages, tap on install packages to activate it. Now hit settings and enable only edge screen feeds. You can follow the same method for any other notification packages. Once all this is done, go to settings, edge screen, navigate to information stream, make sure information stream is enabled and from manage feeds, Check the download packages and reorder it. Once done, now you can monitor your battery uses, CPU uses right from the edge screen. Similarly, you can add other packages to enhance the edge screen functionality. Now you can activate the edge screen and scroll until you see the newly installed stream. So a great app to add different tools to your edge screen as you can monitor various components of your device. The next one here is the Edge Notification. This is pretty much like the People's Edge but with added functionality. You can make these edges glow whenever you get a phone call as well as for notifications from different applications. So first of all, enable the notification access and choose the apps that you want to get notified from. And in case if you are using colors for the incoming calls, you can assign any specific color to that contact so that according to the glowing color you can identify the contact. You can also customize the edge color notification that is you can give the width, color, animation and the glow side. Since you can customize the color of the glow, you can know from which app you are getting notifications from. So if you have the habit of putting your phone face down, this app would be perfect for you. The next one here is the Pi Controls. Basically it's like a launcher which can run on top of any other launcher. You have this Pi and you can perform many tasks like turning on and off the Wi-Fi, flashlight, 
as well as perform various actions by customizing this pie. Launch the app and as you can see right now you can launch the pie from either sides of the screen. You can launch it from the bottom of the screen as well by selecting this. Then you have got options to customize the activation area, customize the pie size, colors and so on. Then you can enable clock on your pie as you can see here. Then you have got levels that is different layers of the pie. This is the level 1 that is there by default. You can add another level. Say for example a level of apps that you use the most. So calculator then hangouts. Similarly you can go ahead and add the apps that you use the most. Once you are done with the customization hit apply. As you can see we have the second level of pie now. So guys basically with this app you can launch your favorite applications, perform different tasks quickly with just a single swipe. And you don't have to worry about the dominant hand, so a great app. The next one here is the Line Deco. Since Galaxy S6 Edge is a very unique device due to its edge screen, even in terms of UI you would want it to look different from others. Basically this app provides you with a bunch of wallpapers, icon packs, widgets and so on. So what makes this app different is, you can individually set different icons for each application. Let me just quickly show it to you. You can also browse from a huge collection of wallpapers categorized into various sections like HD, City, Architecture, Art, Movies and so on. Then we have custom widgets. You get all these sweet widgets to customize your device. And the widgets is not only limited to clock but you can also get custom widgets for calendar and battery. From gallery you can view home screens from other people's. As in you can see what wallpapers, icon packs or widgets they have used. So in case if you like it, you can use it for your home screen. So if you are into customization without changing the launcher, this app is the best for you. The last but not the least is the iPhone. For some devices, this app might require root access. But with Samsung devices like the Note 4, S6 and the S6 Edge, this runs perfectly fine without root. So basically you get a huge collection of fonts as well as you have different languages. So download the font you like and once done, you can tap set and then install. So now from the font menu you can choose the font and hit done. The whole system font is changed. So if you like to change the system fonts you can do that with this app easily. So that's all for this video guys, thank you guys for watching, I hope you found this video useful, stay tuned for more and I will catch you guys in the next one.